mother of the summer fields, goddess of the silver moon. Join with us as power builds, dance with us our witches rune. Father of the summer dew, hunter of the winter snows, with open arms we welcome you. Hey y'all, it's KK Witchy. Hope you guys are doing good today. Um, today's video is going to be about being in the broom closet. Now, before we begin and things like that, there is a channel that if you are newer um, to to this path, to the pagan Wiccan uh, witchcraft, witch, witchy path, um, I recommend you go check out Starting Out Solitary. It's a group of people and um, they discuss how starting out solitary, how that can be, and how it was for them. So I recommend that you go check it out. I will put it down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. And I'm pretty sure I just said checking it out four times in a sentence, and I apologize for that. Also, they discuss different topics, what can come about on this path um, very, very soon in it. So... That's another reason why I volunteer that you go check it out. So on one of their weeks, they had a topic called the broom closet. Now, I've not discussed this on my channel um, or what it is and things like that. But when someone says that you're in the broom closet, um, it's basically saying that you do not tell people that you're Wiccan, witch, pagan, etc. And I've come across this a lot. In the beginning, I was very, very deep in the closet. Um, I did not wear... Pentacles did not really discuss religion at all. When someone would talk about um, God or such, I would just kind of, you know, um, change the subject very, very quickly because I did not want to, um, I, was, I was scared to death that my beliefs would come involved in that. Um, so I did not discuss it and stuff. So I avoided that subject completely all through school. <laughs> and it was amazing that I did that. It really was. So, I've also come across people that say or said that if you are so proud of being, um, you know, whatever it is, whether you're a Wiccan, witch, pagan, or a spiritualist person, then why, you know, if you're so proud of it, why do you hide it? Well, the reason being that even though it is 2014, there are people out there that still can, that still judge us, that still harasses us, that can still hurt us, whether it's mentally, um, emotionally, or physically. There have been cases of physical abuse um, when you come out. So it's a lot like being, when you're coming out, it's a lot like saying that, um, for example, gay, like if you're gay and it's like coming out of the closet, that's what it's like. Um, for, for being a witch or a Wiccan and pagan as well because it's gotten such a bad misconception and so much of talking smack about it and things like that that people, they don't really ask questions. Some people don't ask questions anymore. They just assume and then they do something about it. It's like you'll hear a lot of people that say the reason they're in their bloom closet because their jobs does not accept that. Um, that can happen. People can get fired over what they believe in, stuff like that. It's sad, but it's true. Um, like I said, some people are closed-minded. Some people just don't want to learn about it. And the very sad thing is, is you cannot sit there and convince someone to listen to you. So um, the way I've the way I've did it is, if you ask me, I will tell you. But if you don't ask me, then I will not tell you. Um, so. I, of course, I wear my pentacle. I am out of the broom closet. But in the beginning, um, I've had I've had a lot of experience with both being in it and being out of it. So, um, like I said in the beginning, I was very, very hush-hush about it. I did not speak. I avoid religion completely, um, especially if, uh, you know, a certain... A god got brought up that I didn't agree with. <laughs> so I changed the subject very quickly and very fastly because I did not want to have my religion brought up because I did not know how people would react. Because in the beginning when I started, I did not know about YouTube and I did not know about the amazing community that we have on here. With Whether you're witch, Wiccan, pagan, this amazing community that we have on here now. Um, in the beginning I did not know about that. And... 
So that's another reason why I was hush hush because I was like, oh my God, am I the only person that believes this and thinks of this? And, you know, I've studied when you're, when you're in school, you study Salem witch trials and you're like, oh my God, people burned people that believed like us. <laughs> so that's why another reason why I was hush hush, that fear, the fear. So which I was very, very safe. Now I can honestly say that I am out and I am about and I am proud who I am and I'm proud of what I've become and I'm proud of what I'm what I'm heading to and I'm I'm just proud of myself. I really am. And there are only certain people that I actually, that I really, really cared about what they thought, and that was my mama, my daddy, and my best friend. Oh, and of course, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend that comes into your life or whatever. Well, mama, I was terrified of telling her. I was, I was so scared, and I cannot remember, but I had gotten into an argument with somebody over it and I was so 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 fired up because they found out that I was at the time I was Wiccan but I was so fired up and so I was like you know angry and I was like yelling and you know I was ranting to mama and then about I just it blurred out that oh I'm Wiccan and I'm proud to be it and you know I've been this for I think at the time it's three four five years I think around there and like <laughs> I just stopped because I was like, oh my God, what did I just say? <laughs> and I was scared to death that she was going to have such a negative reaction. But she didn't. She was actually very, very accepting of it. And she was like, okay. <laughs> she was. She didn't say anything um, about it after that. I mean, she... She did not ask me about it anymore after that. Um, so I was free to set up altars and have my book of shadows and have witchy items throughout my room. And so I was very, very happy about when I came out to her because she is my mama and I was scared to death that she was going to have such a negative reaction from it. So um, she didn't know. She didn't. And so I was like tickled to death that she... Um, was very accepting of it. My dad, on the other hand, he does not believe in what I practice and what I do, but he does respect it. So that's that's cool enough for me. You know, he don't bash me every day for it. He don't, you know, um, tell me that I'm wrong all the time. He just lets it be. He lets me set up my altar, my witchy um, stuff. So he don't have a problem with it there. Um. The other person, my best friend, she, however, she knew that I was pagan. She did not know that I practiced witchcraft. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was funny because when I came out to her, of course, she was very naive about it because she is Christian and she was taught that that stuff is bad. Um, but, however... When she was like, oh my god, you know, you should, you shouldn't be messing with this, and blah, blah, blah. And I was, you know, um, it, it blows my mind, but after a while, she got used to it. She really did. She knew that I was on this path for a long time, and I wasn't going to change now. You know, and I'm, and like I said, I'm proud of who I am, and I'm happy to be who I am. And so... After being on it for so long, I don't want to change. I don't. I know change does come about, but at the, right where I'm at right now, I'm happy where I'm at right now. So She was accepting of it, and she's actually showing signs of um, wanting, I'm not going to say wanting to convert, but to like, to explore it a little bit. She's showing signs that she's a natural witch which I really, really like and I'm excited about. But I'm waiting for her to say that, hey, I want to learn about this because I just don't want to shove books in her face and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. I'm not that kind of person, and I refuse to be that kind of person. So, 
Anyway, you guys know that if you're on my personal Facebook, you guys know that I'm in a new relationship, and I like him very, very much. And, oh, when I came out to him, I was nervous about it, too. But I wanted to go ahead and get it over with. That way, years from now, I won't have to tell him, and I'll be terrified to tell him. <laughs> so I just went out and blurted, you know, hey, I'm I'm a witch, you know, I practice witchcraft, and I believe in paganism, and I believe in the god and goddess, and he was like, he, he was fine with it, he really was, because he's, um, you know, his, he told me that his grandmother is a Christo, Chris, Christo witch, I hope I said that right, so, um, yeah, she she was kind of like that too, and so she she's kind of a witch too. So I was very happy about that. So that means that he grew up around it and he's accepting of it. And, you know, um, he's used to it, so that's really really good. And so so far things are working out between us. And he asks he asks me questions and I respond, and he he's respectful. I'm good, and you know he's. He's good. He's good with it. So that's good. <laughs> really, really good. So, but what I'm saying is the reason I got it over with fast and as quick as I be, as quick as I was, because I personally told him that this is what I do. This is what I believe in. This is what I do every single day. And I said, if you do not respect it, then this this is not going to work. Or if you tell me that I'm wrong, that this ain't going to work because I, I'm not going to change who I am at this particular moment because I'm happy with who I am. But no, he was fine with it. I mean, I, I was ready for, you know, um, I know I shouldn't think negative, but I, I do, and I expect people to react negative. Um, I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I do, and yeah. But I, I prepare myself in case that happens. But anyway, what I'm getting at is if being on the path is really, really hard for you and you have people that do not accept it or anything of that kind of nature, um, then I respect people being in the broom closet because I don't, like I said, people can still hurt you nowadays, even though it's 2014. People still have that mindset where they can physically hurt you, emotionally hurt you, and mentally hurt you. They can. They, it's, it's sad, but it's true. And people still do physically hurt you if you come out and say, hey, I'm a witch, and I practice witchcraft, and I cast spells. They can still hurt you. Now, I'm not doing this video to install fear in anybody, but I'm just saying it as kind of a caution. Um, like I said, I think that no matter who you are, Sorry, my phone's going off. You will still have your foot in the closet for many, many years. And I'm, well, you'll kind of still have your foot in the closet. So, what I'm saying, you know, like I said, I don't run up and tell people that I'm witch or whatever. However, I do wear my pentacle now. I wear it very proudly. Um, so, if you ask me, then I tell you, but... If I'm going somewhere, like, super, super important, like, say, to the bank to get a loan, <laughs> I don't wear my pentacle because that can still affect that. So, um, yeah, but all you have to do is remember to stay strong and that we all love you being a part in this community. Or at least I love you. I'm sure the others do, too. But, um... Just remember to stay strong and love who you are. And it is, 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 is hard. But you, there will come a time in your life where it won't be as hard as it is now. So, stay strong. Much love and light to everybody. And hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, yeah, I think it's that's all. <laughs> so bye guys. Uh, many blessings.